Well, hello and welcome to Tobacco Pipes and More. I'm Oki Ozark Piper, and this is your three minute pipe tobacco review. I have been wanting to try some more burly blends uh, because I haven't smoked burly blends in the past that much, except as just a condiment and other blends that I've liked. But I haven't really smoked uh, many uh, straight burly blends or burly forward blends. And so I have decided to start uh, trying some just to see if I can learn to appreciate them a little bit better. And I was talking with a friend and I was reminded that I actually had some Cornell and Deal's Old Joe Cramps. So let's take a look at it. It is a uh, rough cut tobacco, as you can see here. Uh, kind of looks like something you get out of your uh, lawnmower bag, kind of rough cut, all kinds of uh, shapes and sizes there. You have uh, the cubed burly. Uh, if you look in there, you can kind of see some cubed burly throughout. You have a dark burly. You also have some Virginias, red Virginias, and you have lots of Perique. You can see that really dark stuff there, I believe, is the Perique. Overall, it packs really good, and it's a pretty good uh, cut, I think. So let's take a look at the statistics. The strength on this one, I'm going to give a 3 out of 4. Flavoring, none detected. Uh, the taste on this, I would say, is medium to full. Overall, I'd have to say that uh, one of the things that surprised me the most about this blend was the complexity. Uh, I really wasn't expecting uh, the amount of complexity that I have experienced in this blend. Um, because, and I don't know why, but that was just my impression that burly blends are generally not that complex. So the flavors that I uh, enjoyed while smoking that uh, ranged from, you know, uh, the stewed fruits, that you get from Perique, you know, the plums and the raisins and, you know, whatnot. And, um, and then there's some spiciness there. The Virginias offer a nice sweetness uh, that kind of fades in and out in the blend for me. Um, what I have is uh, I've smoked pretty much on the dry side. And... The thing I realize about it is, is that you have to take your time with it. You can't uh, puff it too fast. If you puff it too fast, it's going to have a bit of a, a cigarette taste to it, and the perique is still going to come through, um, but you're going to have a bit of a harshness to it if you smoke it too fast. If you can take your time with it, it's actually uh, very nice. Um, so... Cornell and Dill's Ojo Krantz. I would say that this is a tobacco for, this would be a great tobacco for somebody who's getting off cigarettes and uh, wants something that's got some uh, nicotine to it, has a little bit of that cigarette flavor to it. And cigarettes are not, I, you know, if I say that, a lot of people are going to be turned off by that. But it's just a natural tobacco taste. Uh, every once in a while, it kind of drifts into the category of cigar. Um, and the complexity of this blend is that you're getting all of these different flavors that are kind of going in and out uh, throughout the whole process of the smoke. And uh, you're not getting... The only thing that you get consistently, I would say, would be the burley and the... Uh, and the perique is always kind of there. The sweetness for me kind of faded in and out. The stewed fruits are always kind of there. Um, but as I said, if you puff it too fast, it starts taking on a little bit of a cigarette taste and less of that kind of rich burly taste or rich uh, perique taste. So Ojo Krantz, I would rate on a scale from one to four, I would give it about a 2.7.